do you know that your mommy is absolutely right that you should never, ever talk to strangers? But I'm not a stranger. I'm your friend. I know all about you. And I think we could have a lot of fun together. What do you say? You want to have some fun? Oh, are you touching my hair? Yes, it's blonde. It looks just like your mommy's. Will you play dinosaurs? Absolutely, I will play dinosaurs. But you know what? Can we keep it a secret? If you tell anybody, then that's not good. That means you're going to lose. Okay, and that's not going to be fun. If you even tell mommy that you saw me, you lose, and that's not fun, right? Okay, okay. Will, RJ, mommy's home. Oh, okay, babe, listen, you remember the secret? Good, good. Okay, you're doing a great job, but mommy can't know that I'm here. Not until I'm ready to let her know. Oh, for me, thank you very much. To the prince who caught me when I fell, let's talk Fifth Street and Maple. Jeffrey O'Neill, the district attorney? Ah, you know Jeffrey O'Neill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we go way back before he came to Springfield. Yeah, I know all his deepest and darkest, yeah. Cassie. Hi. Jeffrey. Hello. What's up? Mommy's got company. I just stopped by to make sure you were okay. Why wouldn't I be? It's just, you know, a courtesy visit, that's all. Does this have to do with the imposter? Am I in danger, Jeffrey? Can I help you? Uh, no. No, thank you, I'm fine. Actually, no, maybe you can't help me. I'm looking for a woman. Oh, you're not really my type. Right. Um, it, my loss, I'm sure. In this case, uh, I'm looking for an attractive woman, but blonde. She sort of has a Hitchcockian Grace Kelly to be Hendren there about her. And I'm sure some of those words made sense, just not to me. My fault, I'm sure. Thank you. You've been very helpful. This better be worth my time. Oh, oh, oh. come here, sweetie. You are doing so good at this game, okay? But let's see if we can even be more quiet. We don't want Mommy to hear us, okay? Or when she walks in, she may get a real big surprise, and that won't make her happy, okay? What aren't you telling me? Are you sure everything's, uh, okay? I'm fine. I can't say the same about you. You don't uh, look so good. What do you mean? You're edgy. No, I don't get edgy. Okay, whatever. Look, is this about my case? Do you have a lead? What? No, no, no. No, the agencies are taking care of that, Cassie. Don't worry, they're, they're trying to track down the person that's impersonating you, but that's going to take some time. Why do I have this feeling that you're not telling me everything? Well, look, we lost her, okay? We lost her. What can I say? You lost her. Yeah. This woman has been impersonating me, and she has hit every gala in Europe to see and I'm, be seen, and now you're saying you guys can't find I'm her? I'm taking care of it. You don't need to worry. Okay, and you're going to let me know when I need to okay, start worrying. I didn't worrying. even come here to discuss your missing identity or your stolen identity, okay? I came here to talk to you about you testifying at the Salerno trial. You could have asked me that over the telephone, too. Well, I prefer face-to-face, -face, Mrs. Winslow. No, you don't. Not at all. So why don't you tell me the real reason you came here, all right? Now, you just said that you've lost this imposter, okay? Are you concerned that she's going to come here? Do I have a reason to worry that this other Cassie is going to come after me, Jeffrey? No. Surprise! No. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey, you little stinker, Jeffrey, come here. You scared hey. the heck out of your mom there. You could be a spy the way you hide like that. Where's Miss Chipwood? You didn't want to play outside? No, I was playing with my imaginary friend. Oh, really? Well, who is it? Is it Rex Rocket? She has pretty hair like you. An imaginary girlfriend, huh? Well, that's good, RJ, because they're uh, a lot less trouble than the real ones. Only for guys like you. She's real. RJ. She's real, huh? Do you think I could meet her, RJ? I won't tell if it's a secret. It's okay. Come on, show me. Where? Over here? Hello? Hello, RJ's imaginary friend. Are you around here? Well, I guess RJ's imaginary friend didn't want to hang around. Can you go outside and tell Miss Chitwood that I'm home? Thanks. Well, 
RJ's imaginary friend sure seemed real to him. Well, what's the point of having an imaginary friend if you don't pretend that it's real? Yeah. You're doing it again. You're having that day's thought going on inside your head that someone may know something about, but you're not telling me. Well, what can I say, Mrs. Winslow? Um, I'm a mystery. Well, ain't that the truth? Can we get back to business, please? You want to know if this person who has been impersonating you could show up here? Yeah, she could. This is Ambassador Winslow. I'm, I'm waiting for someone. They're late. Do I have any messages there? No, you sure about that? All right, thanks very much. Someone's having fun at my expense, and someone is going to find out that's a bad thing to do. Ambassador. How nice of you to show up. I was beginning to lose faith I never had. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have something better to do? What? Than skulk about a street corner waiting for some mystery woman who claims to have information about Cassie and Jeffrey O'Neill that probably isn't worth waiting for anyway? No, of course not. Well, then why are you waiting? You know, RJ, here you go. I'm more of a... Scotch and cigars kind of guy, but uh, this milk and cookies thing looks pretty good. <laughs> now, you know, some people say I'm a, I'm a mean guy. You don't think I'm a mean guy, do you? Nope. And I know how milk and cookies works. Here, you take one, I'll take one. What you do is you have to break it in half first, and then you dip it, and then you bite it. Simple, right? Um, you know, RJ, this imaginary friend of yours, don't you tell me about it. It's a woman, right? She said I can't. Oh, come on. I'm your, I'm your pal, O'Neill. You can tell me anything, right? All right, look. You just you don't have to say anything. Just answer yes or no. Is she blonde? Uh-huh. Is she pretty? Did she talk about your mom? And she flies like Superman. She does, does she? Well, I'd like to meet this person. Listen, I gotta run, okay? You finish all the cookies. And lock this door after I leave, okay? You promise? All right, buddy, see you later. I'm bored of the banter. Can we get to the point? We both know what this is about. Jeffrey O'Neill, what do you know about him? Well, I'm not going to tell you everything right now, but what I will tell you is that we're going to meet on my terms and around my schedule. And if I don't agree? Well, that would be your choice. But I have a feeling that you're going to want to know the information. And if you tell anybody about this, you will never see me again. And you'll wonder if you could have protected Cassie from a man who can only hurt her. I'm not a fan of blind faith. So either you tell me something right now, or you're a liar and a waste of time. OK. I respect that you want to sample the goods. So I will give you a little tidbit to chew on. I can help you answer a question that has been burning in the back of your mind ever since Jeffrey came here. Why would a man who looks exactly like your dead brother, the love of Cassie's life, suddenly show up in this town and move into her hotel. Hooked. 